Hello students, I am Dr. Arpita De. A very warm welcome to this lesson. The topic for today's discussion is phases of mitotic cell division. This is an important part for the third year BSc students. This part is from paper 7 of the 6th semester. Mitosis is a term with which you all are familiar from your junior classes. Mitosis, as we all know, is an equational division of somatic cells in lower as well as higher organisms that ensures equal distribution of chromosomes in the two genetically identical daughter cells. The aim of cell division is what? To produce a daughter cell. So, it should be ensured that the daughter cells get equal divisions or equal proportions of the genetic material from the mother cell. This is ensured by the process of mitosis. Cell cycle has got certain phases G1, S, G2 and M. We are here concerned about this M phase. We'll talk about the phases of karyokinosis. Karyokinosis has prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. So karyokinesis starts with prophase where the cell gets prepared for division. It's a preparatory phase. The chromosomes here becomes highly condensed. The nucleolus and the nuclear envelope disappears and the centrioles start migrating to the opposite poles of the cells. Prophase is followed by metaphase. In metaphase, the duplicated chromosomes arrange themselves at the equatorial plane. The major difference between the chromosomes of prophase and metaphase is that the metaphase chromosomes are highly condensed and Metaphase is followed by anaphase where the duplicated chromosomes will now move towards the opposite poles. The spindle fibers contract and the chromatids are pulled apart. That means they are pulled towards the opposite poles. Finally, karyokinesis terminates with telophase. Here, the nuclear membrane is again seen to reappear. The nucleolus as well starts reappearing and the chromosomes are less condensed. Constrictions are formed at the cell membrane. These are the two constrictions which are formed at the cell membrane and these constrictions will deepen and will ultimately lead to cytokinesis and generation of two daughter cells. Now let's study the phases of mitosis through some pictures. The first picture here shows prophase. Here you can see the picture is like that of a woolen ball which is being uncoiled or opened. It is loose in nature. Next comes metaphase where we can see the chromosomes are arranged at the equatorial plane. Next comes anaphase. As we had just studied, during anaphase, these chromatin material or the chromatids move towards the two opposite poles. 
And finally, we come to telophase where we see that nuclear membrane gradually reappears and the cell is ready to complete the process of karyokinesis. From this picture, we see prophase here. The first one here is interphase, which is followed by prophase. Then comes metaphase, anaphase, and finally telophase. Now let's talk about mitotic spindle apparatus. What is this mitotic spindle apparatus? We'll talk about the role of mitotic spindle apparatus in mitosis and why is it so very indispensable. Mitotic spindle apparatus is a temporary framework made up of contractile protein that take active part in cell division. It is formed during the prophase and is comprised of these four components which you can figure out in this diagram. It consists of the centrioles, the kinetochore fibers, polar fibers and ester fibers. These together give rise to a structure which holds the chromosome at place during this entire process of karyokinesis and finally draws the chromatids towards the two opposite poles during anaphase. Now we'll talk about the significance of mitosis. Why is it so important in the body of an organism? Mitosis leads to the development of zygote into an adult. The zygote will divide and will grow into an adult by virtue of mitosis. It ensures equal distribution of chromosomes to the daughter cells after each cell cycle. It maintains the constant number of chromosomes in the body cells of an organism and is responsible for a definite shape proper growth and development of an individual. The purity of types is maintained by virtue of mitosis as there is no recombination and segregation occurring in mitosis. Since no recombination and segregation is occurring, there is no combination of two parental traits which give rise to a new trait. Thus, purity of types is maintained. And finally, mitosis repairs and replaces dead and old cells in the animals. Example, the gut epithelium and blood cells. So, this is all about the study of mitosis. In our next lecture, we will be talking about meiosis and its significance. I hope you have liked this video. Try to make your own comprehensive notes from it and feel free to get back to me in case of any doubts and confusion. These are the reference from where I have collected some of the study materials delivered in this lecture. Thank you so much for your kind attention.